What's going on guys, it's Michael and Scott here and welcome to Fudge Muppet. Today we're taking you through our top 10 Fallout 4 builds. We've had an intensive judging process of all the builds we've ever made for the game and to be completely honest, rating them from 10 to 1 was really hard. Yeah, it's really difficult to spend all day flattering yourself about how great your builds are. Truly difficult stuff. On a serious note though, it has been a challenging process. We've been able to pull it off just for you. So in the description we've also put links to each of the builds mentioned in this video so you can get much more detail afterwards but you might want to avoid that area to start with if you don't want the video to be completely spoiled. We haven't put them in order though so you're safe in that regard. So with that out of the way I'd like to say that we've ranked these builds based on a mix of many things. Aesthetics, role playing, the backstory, statistics and perks, functionality and fun. Now it's time to dive in. If you're new around here and enjoy this, be sure to leave a like after you subscribe if you can make such deep commitments. In the number 10 position, we have the ultimate Brotherhood of Steel build, the Paladin. The Paladin brings in the gigantic arsenal of heavy weapons ranging from miniguns to missile launchers, from flamers to gatling lasers. This build is the best way to be a devastating tank of destruction that obliterates the enemies of the Brotherhood, cleansing the commonwealth of the filth that hides below. The utilization of the T-60 power armor is one of the coolest parts of this build, along with the unarmed specialty. When you've unloaded all you have into that mighty behemoth, you charge in furiously, throwing Tesla charged punches into its belly, dropping its enormous weight to the floor. The Paladin is a true believer in the ideologies of the Brotherhood, and using this build is one of the best ways to roleplay a devoted Brotherhood member who would stand by Elder Max until his last breath. Ad Victorium. The Paladin is really intense, but you'll want to kick back and relax for the number 9 build on our top 10 countdown, the Tinkerer. This super eccentric, colour-loving scavenger provides a playthrough that's all about creativity, crafting and collecting. She's definitely a bit of a nutcase, and loves to hoard scrap which she can build all kinds of gadgets with. One of the main reasons we put this kind-hearted build on our list, besides the unique aesthetic which I'll get into soon, was actually the sense of freedom you feel when you play it. Because this build has such a large focus on transforming the junk around her into something useful and really takes leisure in customizing multiple sets of power armor within a giant scrap heap kingdom, which she builds herself, you find yourself losing that intense atmosphere of urgency to quickly rush the main storyline. The Tinkerer also has that sensational aesthetic, wearing the iconic airship captain hat and wielding a deadly railway rifle. She's got a steampunk vibe to her and even though you'd classify her as an introverted, lovely, intelligent lady, she won't hesitate to nail your arms to a wall if you try and take what she loves. At number 8 we have the man that will bring robotic revolution to the commonwealth. This build is the Mechanist. We designed this build shortly after the Automatron DLC drop to give you a character that gets the most out of the DLC. Designing robots, strutting around in some high-tech Tesla power armor, and crafting the perfect robot companion is what this build is all about. Taking on the mantle of the Mechanist, this build also provides some solid Fallout 3 nostalgia. This character also makes use of Codsworth in the best way possible by turning him into a deadly Assaultron or a mighty sentry bot. You and your robot pal take arms against the evils in the Commonwealth with an awe-inspiring selection of energy weapons. Bolstered by his unique Tesla power armor, his Tesla rifle wreaks crackling havoc through groups of ghouls, raiders and super mutants. Perhaps plasma rifles or laser weapons are your preference. Regardless, all you have to know is that after the mechanist is through with his enemies, all that remains is a collection of plasma puddles and ash stirring in the wind. Now this build is as classic as it gets, and I must say it took great effort to stop Scott from putting this build in the number one position, where he believes it should forever rightfully belong. It is the Road Warrior at number 7, and without a doubt it's the perfect Mad Max equivalent for a playthrough in Fallout 4. If you came to me and said you could only play Fallout 4 once, there's a very high chance that this is the build I'd recommend. The backstory and wasteland aesthetic of this build are like that from the old Mad Max movies. We gave him the iconic double barrel shotgun, and of course chose to use the faithful companion Dogmeat as his sole comrade and only true friend. We also took advantage of the new attack dog rank added in Nuka World and used it in conjunction with the Lone Wanderer perk to take a massive 40% less damage across the board. These perks are also perfect for role playing and the Road Warrior has more than a shotgun and a dog at his disposal. He's also got a handmade rifle, the Deliverer pistol without the silencer and a healthy assortment of melee weapons. He can fight competently with whatever he can grab and has a huge focus on survival. He can adapt to any situation but he's also super flexible in terms of role-playing. 
You can rationalize him siding with any of the factions, and he can really do whatever the hell he likes due to his all-rounder mechanics and grey personality. Now we have Death from a Distance, the Sharpshooter. This is one of our best known and earliest builds now with over 1.5 million views. This build still holds up as one of our favorites. The Sharpshooter has that grizzled veteran vibe. He has been a sniper with both the SWAT and the military, notching many kills under his belt. He also has a tragic backstory, a drugged up mother and two dead wives, so we know he can handle a lot of mental anguish, which shows how much of an absolute badass he is. That and his six shades. A big draw of this build is his ability to silently and accurately remove the grey matter from heads and paint it all over walls. Concentrated fire, sniper, penetrator and a whole bunch of luck perks are what allows this build to confidently execute all enemies without them being aware of his presence. The next build on our top 10 list isn't so friendly. She's literally into everything that modern society is against. She loves filling herself with chems, she loves death and destruction, but more than anything else she craves for the burning sensation of fire, the smell of smoke and the taste of flesh. The pyromaniac comes in hot at number 5 and is an absolute maniac, perfect for anyone who is sick of being Mr. Nice Guy and wants to play through Fallout 4 feeling batshit insane. The build is also incredibly intelligent, making her a very interesting character as a lot of the more evil builds aren't too smart. The Pyromaniac has a huge appetite for eating chems and corpses, and gets her place on the list also due to her incredible combat style. Her heavy use of jet makes her enjoy most of her time in slow motion, being able to leap incredibly far and burn through foes endlessly in a very cinematic way. She much prefers to use a slow cooker than a microwave, and has been obsessed with fire since she was a child. She also fights with melee and heavy guns, allowing you to feel like an agile ninja while retaining the greediness of a psycho heavy weapons character. Many people claim that playing this build has been the most fun they've ever had in a Fallout game, and you can't exactly blame them. This Savage also works perfectly with the Nuka World DLC, in which case she'd definitely fit in with the Disciples faction. Speaking of which, this is our number 4 choice, the Disciple. The Disciple shares a lot of similarities to our early Assassin build, but in our opinion this improves upon that by taking advantage of the new Nuka World gear and perks, as well as some of our updated knowledge. The Disciple has a really sinister aesthetic, showing her allegiance to the Disciples Raider Gang, while also expressing her very disturbing, sadistic character. To her, blood spilling is an art, as explained in her vicious role-playing style and tantalizing backstory. Even if you don't play this build, I highly recommend you listen to the backstory anyways, as it's one of the best that exist on Fudge Muppet. It would be wise to avoid contact with her and her deadly blade, Throat Slicer. Not that you really can anyways, if she really wanted you dead, you wouldn't see it coming. Her sneak and blitz combination with her large pool of action points and lightning fast action point regeneration make her an absolutely lethal demon hiding in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to gracefully remove limb from body. We've all seen how awesome slow motion is with the Pyromaniac build, but perhaps there's an even more fun way to apply such enhancements. Take slow motion to the skies with a jetpack, a huge unique suit of power armor, a dog, and a very powerful shotgun. The shotgun surgeon comes in at number 3 on our list, very much so for its aesthetic and its playstyle. We love how this build doesn't just use a plain set of X01, but adds in raider pieces to the mix. When you play this build, you have massive environmental freedom, and you get to have your cake and eat it too. You get huge chunky power armor that enemies struggle to dent, but at the same time you get speed and maneuverability, courtesy of your jetpack. This build doesn't really need dog meat, but it definitely adds an extra fun element. There's nothing better than flying up to a raider who's been held still by dog meat, landing right in front of him Mass Effect Vanguard style, and launching him away with a succession of shotgun blasts. The shotgun surgeon is also a lover of what would be considered darker philosophy, and he's no coward when it comes to the true scientific facts of human nature. He's also named after one of our favorite Fallout New Vegas perks, and just by watching him fight, you can see why he deserves to be ranked so well in this video. Now this awesome build brings the Wild West east to the Commonwealth and into the number 2 position. The gunslinger brings his six shooter into a bar of raiders and drops them all before one can even utter who the hell are you. 
His skill at dispatching foes in one flurry of bullets is unmatched by any of our other builds. This is due to his insane playstyle utilizing high agility, high luck, and most importantly, the Gunfu perk. The Gunfu perk in combination with the later level luck perks allow you to open up with a volley of crits on your first couple of targets, and then Gunfu takes care of the rest. All these criticals ensure that the gunslinger never misses a shot. He also has the Lone Ranger look with the bandana and hat, perfect for roaming the wasteland, waiting for some fool to challenge him to a duel. So if you're looking to play the unpredictable, quick-drawing, trick-shooting, wastrel of the wasteland, then the gunslinger is for you. Finally, coming in number one, we have the Raider Overboss. This amazing Nuka World build may not have the nostalgia value of our other builds, but upon close analysis, you can see why this intimidating monster of a man takes the crown. He's got an intense backstory with powerful character development. He's got a highly effective stat setup for his playstyle, and he possesses the perfect Raider aesthetic. His variety of offensive and tactical perks ensures he's able to manipulate and abuse the fears of those around him for ultimate control, while still being able to charge through and conquer settlements himself shooting enemies apart with his beastly automatic rifle. He's straight up vicious and commands a large force of relentless raiders to do his bidding, owning the commonwealth and dominating civilization with unwavering ambition. This build is also a really nice break from all the grey villains of our Fallout 4 universe. This man is straight up evil. However, as you'll know after watching his build video, he does not lack in complexity. And that wraps up our top 10 Fallout 4 builds. Thanks so much for watching this video and extra thanks to those who have subscribed, liked the video and those who decide to share it. Our social media links are in the description alongside the links to the builds shown in this video. Again, thank you so much for all the support. We're so happy that other people in this world enjoy awesome video game characters as much as we do. It's been Michael and Scott from Fudge Muppet and we look forward to nerding out with you all again very soon.